In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Ghost, create a bless, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace, and have lead to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I believe in thee. I hope in thee. I love thee above all things. With all my soul, with all my heart, and with all my strength. I love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, the Pope, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Invocations to Our Lady. We fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, Thou, his very name, inspires confidence. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother. In temptations against the holy virtue of purity, help me, O loving Mother, that I may quickly rise again, should I have the misfortune to fall into sin, Help me, O loving Mother, that I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state. Help me, O loving Mother that I may be patient and resigned in all the trials and troubles of life. Help me, O loving Mother, in sickness and pain, in poverty and distress. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may not delay my conversion from day to day. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may ever love and serve Thee and invoke Thy assistance. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may be able to lead others to love serve and pray to thee. Help me, O loving Mother. When death is near and I am about to pass into eternity, help me, O loving Mother. To my last hour, to my last breath, do thou watch over me. Help me, O loving Mother. Pray for us, O Mother of Perpetual Succor, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Almighty and merciful God, who in order to assist the human race has willed the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of thy only begotten Son, grant we beseech you that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart. Through, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pause now for a moment of silence 
praying for our intentions and also thanking God and our Blessed Mother. <coughs> Let us remember all those who have been affected by COVID-19 that God may preserve them and cure them completely. That this COVID-19 may disappear from the face of the earth that God may bless all the frontline workers, doctors, nurses, and others, that God may keep always, give us always the grace to trust in Him. Let us also thank Jesus and Mother Mary for the many blessings and graces we have received from them. <clears throat> O Mother of Perpetual Sakha, behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all, the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee, as a perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge, as I believe, of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest the occasion of falling, I shall cease to call upon thee, and so shall lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee, as far as I know how and can, to obtain it for me, namely in the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, mother of perpetual succor, Suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, cheer those that weep, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, that all feel thy need, we implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me, whilst far from heaven and thee, I wander in a fragile bark, O life's tempestuous sea. O Virgin Mother, from thy throne, so bright in bliss above, protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love. 
Mother, dear, oh, pray for me and never cease thy care till in heaven eternally thy love and bliss I share. My dear brothers and sisters, long time ago I read an article in the Reader's Digest. A child was born in a hospital. He was practically blind. He was mentally retarded. He had palsy. He was practically a vegetable. He could not do anything by himself. The mother, looking at that child, abandoned that child in the hospital and there the child lay knowing not his future. The hospital authorities one day thought of a nurse, a 52 year old nurse May. She had been caring for this kind of children. So they approached her and they told May, May we have a child in our hospital who needs you. And May was generous enough and said, bring her to, to my place. May already had five children. And uh, when this boy was brought to her place, she called this boy Leslie. So Leslie was practically a gone case. But May decided that she will look after him and see that he is one day make something of himself. He was blind. He could not do anything by himself. But may the nurse look after that child so beautifully every day, morning and evening she used to massage him. She used to pray over him. She used to shed tears over him and let those tears fall on him. And this child somehow other seemed to be responding to all that May was doing for her, for him. Years passed by, five years, six years, ten years, and everybody said, May, why are you wasting your time on this child? Put that child in an institution. He, you cannot do anything with that child. And uh, May said, no, Leslie will be okay. One day, at the 16th birthday, May was training him to touch things, to feel things. And one day they brought a piano, old piano in their house. Before that, May was playing for him many, mu many mis instrumentals, music of different types, hoping that Leslie could uh, hear it. And one winter morning, winter night it was, they heard in Leslie's room somebody playing the piano. They were wondering whether it was their dream, whether they had kept the radio on and May and her husband said, let us go and see what has happened. They came to that room and they saw Leslie sitting on the, next to the piano and he was strumming on the piano. A classical music. He could not see, it was only by hearing that he began to play. Later on, Leslie began to play different type of music. He began to appear at different places especially among those who are handicapped. 
he became the town as a song of the of the nation everybody wanted to interview leslie but more so they interviewed may the nurse he says what did you do and may said i only looked after him and i gave him love it was love only that cured him and it was my god who cured leslie that day when she heard leslie playing the piano she fell on her knees and said thank you god thank you for taking care of leslie thank you for helping leslie and thank you for giving me patience my dear brothers and sisters love can do much there are sometimes difficult situations in our families in our areas in our in our situations and we feel we are helpless we feel like throwing everything abroad aboard but trusting in god and trusting in your power of prayer and in love things can change just as may was able to change the life of leslie a person who was not wanted in the hospital became a very famous person in life may mary our dear mother who looks after us may give us that love in our heart the spark of love so that we will be able to love people especially those in want especially those who are in need especially those who don't no one cares for may mary our dear mother be a mother to us always the memorare remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly to thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen blessing of the sick our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth lord hear my prayer and let my cry come to thee the lord be with you and with your spirit let us pray grant be beseech thee o lord god that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of blessed mary ever virgin be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through christ our lord may the lord jesus christ be amongst you to defend you within you to preserve you before you to guide you after you to guard you above you to bless you who with the father and the holy spirit lives and reigns forever and ever through the intercession of our mother of perpetual succor may the blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever amen mary from thy sacred image where those eyes so sadly sweet mother of perpetual succor see us kneeling at thy feet in thy arms thy child thou bearest so so fall thy joy and woe of thy bliss how deep thy sorrows mother thou alone can know in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen